I do not deserve this. Why do I have to go through this level? Pain. Cold heart pain. Oh. We're not even at Crash 4 and I'm already grieving this level. Oh. What? The red button is on. Huh? You told me I was recording. Uh, hold on, let me get back in the studio chair. Oh. If you heard, I apologize for what you guys were hearing from the uh, echoing of my headphones. But I'm pretty sure everyone knows the reputation this level has. And how every well and how practically every level in Crash 4 feels like this. Ugh. Well, we held it off for long enough. Greetings, everyone. It's me, Gigglam, and, and uh, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2. Backtracking strikes back. Let's get this out of the way. Welcome to Cold Heart Crash and the last of the ice levels. On top of it being the last of the ice levels, it's the worst. Now it doesn't start off so bad. You get, you get an Aquamask right at the beginning, and of course, you can just break some boxes along your way. Now, all you have to do is deal with some penguins over there and some boxes like this. Nice little formations. Hey, I did it! But... <laughs> but believe me... This is a level- this is another level with a uh, death route in it. Or a skull route, rather. I need to call them skull routes because that's what the game calls them. And... Those skull routes... That skull route is basically the worst thing ever invented in the entire Crash trilogy. And it couldn't, and it didn't have to be that way. Because remember, you remember how nerfed uh, Crash uh, uh, um, Sunset Vista was, right? It had to be changed twice, like shortened twice. That's how bad it got. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And guess what? We have a bonus stage too. Joy. <clears throat> and on top of it being the bonus stage, it's a bonus stage of TNT! A lot of it! A lot of TNT! And you need to jump at the right places if you want to get as much Wumpa Fruit and extra lives and such. But fortunately that was just a Wumpa Fruit, so we can just let this one blow up. Slide jump! Jump on that TNT and you'll just be on your way. It's just all TNT. However, the... You remember... However, I want to show you the one inspiration of why the one lone level designer of Crash 4 decided to do. Those are everywhere in Crash 4. Everywhere! <laughs> okay, enough harping on Crash 4 and how it's, uh, how it is in, uh, how it's, uh, in gigantic air quotes, hard but fair. It's time to talk about this level. Ugh. This level. <laughs> Just get every single one. Just get every single one before you can. And then be on your way. Okay, I believe it got everything on there. Now, this last form is a bit awkward. You know, I wonder if I could 
No, I don't think I can. There's an invisible wall there. There's a one upgrade at the end. Get that one upgrade. Let them blow up first. You wanna know why I say let them blow up first? Because if you don't let them blow up first, they won't count once you uh, once you uh, uh, hit take the platform. This game, uh, this level has the most uh, most wumper fruit, uh, most crates, most boxes in a single level. How many boxes? 155. And there are going to be many instances where you can easily miss that box. Oh, good. We actually have two Aku Akus for this. Let's go! We're going to need them. Yeah. And believe me, this. Uh, is Crash supposed to continuously flash like that? Uh, you're gonna want to use that belly flop to stop yourself in your tracks. Because believe me, that belly flop can be a lifesaver. <laughs> this is easily the absolute worst designed de uh, death route. And guess what? We lost our ease of uh, ease to invincibility. Joy. Because the game thought we hit that uh, hedgehog instead of actually killing it. Okay, good. We got a second. Uh, That's what we're supposed to do. Ugh, get on there. Ugh. And look at this box formation. Uh, cr iron crate formation. It's like they knew how bad this was, so they basically gave you the most E-rated uh, middle finger possible. Yeah, this game is rated E, I believe. It's not K to A, it's E. I believe Kids to Adults was... Uh, it was uh, phased out. And I hope you like Nitro Crate Jumping because we're doing it on ice! Yeah, on ice! Ugh. We have to do it in tight sections like this. And believe me, stopping yourself like that is definitely going to help. Now, if you want to get all the, both gems and the crystal in this level, you need to go down here at least once, and then immediately die. Then, you gotta do that path all over again, but this time, you got to go in reverse. <sighs> and believe me, we're gonna be stuck here for a while. We're already eight minutes into the level. We're not even close. Like, once we're in the clear, we have to find a checkpoint immediately. Because if we don't find a checkpoint and we die, we have to do this all over again. I can understand if, like, like through trying to get through this, you end up having two, uh, have one pity Aku Aku. I feel especially bad if you had two. Because you're gonna die to that a lot. You're gonna die via crushing, die via, uh, die via porcupines, die via, uh, die, uh, die via nitro crates like I, like this, that demonstrated right there. You're gonna need those lives. I remember doing that one exploit with the, uh, with, uh, uh with, uh, unbearables, uh, Unbearables one-ups, and I started this level with 99 lives. I like, like I was left in the, uh, I was left with like around 80 or so lives during that playthrough. Well, 
Look how close I was, by the skin of my tail. Ugh. Why did I do that? Oh, this section just got a whole lot harder. That's another reason why I hate it. You have to make sure that your jump is just the right speed so you make it underneath that uh, freaking nitro crate. <sighs> and believe me, it can be so easy. Like it's so easy to screw up here. You could have a you can have what you can call the run and get so far in this and then be able to turn around only to have your run cut short because you died along the way back. Maybe even before maybe even before the one box that got filled in. Oh, that's another reason why I hate that. And it's not easy to stop yourself in your tracks either. It's just like sometimes the game will just Wait a good while before you're allowed to belly flop. So you just have to hope that uh, the hope that you're pretty good stopping uh, stopping like uh, while you're ahead. Ugh. Reset the momentum. Okay, I understand why that happened. But I don't think that was supposed to happen. Yeah, that's the earliest I think I could do it. Ooh. Wait, now. Ah, that was way too close. Well, you want to know what's the worst part? You had to break that. You had to activate this crate for one box. What box? What is this? It's like they knew they were designing one of the worst aspects ever. Uh, the, the, one of the worst uh, stages ever. And guess what? We fucking died! We have to do that all over again! Oh! Oh! You see why I hate this world? You see why I don't like Crash 2? Why I didn't like Crash 2 initially and why I don't like it as much as Crash 1 or Crash, Crash 3? I understand, like, uh, I, like, I like it way more than I used to, but stages like this are what ruin the experience for me. That's why I said I had to turn off the bandage right in there. Because, because it's just, I knew I was gonna have a bit of a hot take and why I don't find this to be, uh, why I didn't find the level design of this game to be there yet. This is easily the lowest point of Crash 2, and one point where I can, the one point where it's just like, I never look forward to it, I always feel burned afterwards because of how much pain I went through. Ah, that happens like every time. If you had invincibility for that part, well, basically you can make that part a little bit easier, but that may not always happen. Ugh. Ow! <laughs> I saw it, and I can't do anything about it. Yep, there's a pity Akuaku, right on cue, never had played through right without that. Like, this must be a freaking nightmare to pull off in a, in a speed run. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> not like I wanted those anyway. How did my... I swear, the hitbox is on the, uh... I feel like the hitbox on the, uh, belly flop is broken. Sometimes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at them. They are definitely giving you the bird. Like someone on the level designer was having a bad, uh, someone on the level designing team was having a bad day, so they basically wanted to make the others feel bad. Uh, Killjoys. This part is why, when you're on your way back, trying to get past this on ice physics, on the part where you can easily just fall into your pit and die, all that trouble, just for this one one-up crate. It would have been better if it was all of these crates because it would have been more worth it. But just for one, sure it's a one-up crate, but isn't that but wasn't that all that trouble a little bit too much? And we're not even done yet. As soon as we get back on the death route platform and ride it back downwards, 
we still have to find the checkpoint crate and not die. So we had so it's a, so essentially we have a death route for a death route. Yeah, if you didn't have a mask before there, you will definitely die there. And I don't have a mask now. Mean that I better find the checkpoint crate. Otherwise, I have to do that all over again. All over again. And I missed that one up. I feel dead on the inside. Oh. Like, if you think I'm overreacting, no. This stage is as bad as everyone says it is. And could you imagine if the game had to force you to 100% it by basically making it so that you have to do this stage without dying? Could you imagine that? That would be so fun now, would it? Oi. Uh. This is not a great experience. I think this is going to be big enough to kill that penguin right there. Yep. We have to be careful with this one here. Don't be afraid to belly flop to stop your uh, to reset your momentum. Ah, uh, my old nemesis right here. Lure him out. Lure him out. Lure him out as much as you can. Wait until you have an opening strike. And boy, was that a close one. And still no checkpoint crate. What is this? The Crash Bandicoot equivalent to Plutonia experiment? I have to do that all over again! All because Crash decided to not stop ahead of time. I was about to jump there. There was a checkpoint crate there. Finally, back to where I died. Seriously, I should have jumped there. That, that should have been a jump. Crash should have stopped ahead of time. <sighs> if you died before that, if you died like right on the st stairway to that, you just lost a whole lot of time. Because the game just didn't hit you enough. Don't ask how I did that. That was cool. Also, do we really need these uh, four like activation crates just for these four boxes? It's redundant. Not really good design choice. It's just redundant in the long run. You have to be different and think of new ways to use activation crates. That's not a new way to use activation crates. That's just kind of padding. Uh, I, that's not an actual quote, but still, it's just rather lazy. We're in another more devilish part, and... Remember what I said about you need to hit any crates that are right next to nitro crates because the nitro detonator won't destroy any crates right next to the nitro crates? Yeah. You have to be absolutely delicate around that area, but hey, we did it. There's a one up here. I have no clue how you're supposed to get it. Well, I guess problem solved. <laughs> the game take away, the game give. When Aku Aku closes the door, he opens a gun shop. Anyways, I think we're finally past the worst of it. Ugh. I never, I usually try not to get heated in recording and such, but I got so close there with this world alone. Eh, I'll take that. <laughs> Have to wait for this hedgehog to turn around. Hey, plumber boy, mustache fan, your worst nightmare has arrived. Now we gotta make sure that when we that ah, there we go. 
Okay. So. If that says 150, you you are good to go because there are five bo the last five boxes are in plain sight. You can see them right there. If it says 149, you missed the box. I'm not kidding. <laughs> but yeah. Ah, <sighs> finally, freedom. We've done it. We've cleared the worst stage in Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to play this for at least, what, 50 or 60 more Let's Plays? <sighs> Man, it felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. So yeah, we just earned some Cold Heart Crash. This level was a total Cold Heart Pain in the Crash. Gosh! We spent 26 minutes on that level. That one level we spent almost half an hour on. Crash, I have discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nitris Rio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Rio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination. And he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crash. Use the platform to deliver the crystals to ancient. Yeah. Another boss fight ahead. And not only is it the new character one of the new characters, but it's also the hardest boss in the game. I'm not kidding. <clears throat> Also, before anyone says anything, it's highly coincidental that uh, that engine's robot design looks a lot like E123 Omega. Anyways, you're supposed to press circle, square, or uh, you're supposed to press circle to uh, to basically shoot ends the engines turrets with shoot engines uh, weaponry with Wumper Fruit. You're basically throwing them at them. And this is the hardest boss fight for many reasons. One, you have to avoid a lot of stuff. Two, you have to make sure you uh, stay on target as much as you can. Three, you have no Wumpa Aku Mask for the fight. If you came in with Aku Mask uh, upon uh, returning uh, to the warp room, guess what? Those Aku Masks are gone. And uh, you have to make sure you have to make sh you, you gotta dodge uh, you gotta dodge a lot of stuff, a whole lot of stuff. If you're lucky enough and good in our go, if you're aiming, well, basically you're definitely going to destroy both his turrets if you're able to uh, be as skillful with your aiming and such. Now I believe there's an un there's attack that was uh, left unused by complete accident, and uh, like. It's one formation that should have been used in the game, but for some reason it doesn't happen. Like probably something with a coding, there's like a coding snafu or something. Yeah. Ugh. There goes one of his laser, uh, one of the uh, sh laser shoulder uh, thingies. And when he's down to one, basically he's going to try shooting uh, missiles from side to side. Now for the hardest part of the segment. And that's why! You have very little time to shoot Wumpa Fruit at it, at that part of the fight. And on top of that, if you die there, you have to do the entire fight all over again. I almost had it first try, and I hate that I failed at the 
technically, because I would have loved to have done it on my first attempt. I spent a very long time in this boss fight. And yes, he can even destroy it when, uh, when the engine's firing the laser. Engine moves really fast, so you want to be on your toes to keep firing Wumpa Fruits. Fortunately, I hate when he tries to, like, uh, get out of range before he opens the, uh, lasers. Now he's gonna fire missiles from his shoulders again. And you not- and you want to be on your toes to make sure that you can, uh, fire while they're open. And make sure that you can fire in the move- maneuver out of the way before he decides to send an aerial assault right against your orange, uh, orange behind. Rather, or denim covered behind or something. I mean, Crash has good taste in fashion. I do like denim. Ugh. Come on. When he's down to one shoulder, uh, shoulder, like, one, uh, missile shoulder pad, as soon as he gets onto the platform, immediately get out of the way, because, believe me, when he fires immediately, well, basically, you can't really afford, uh, afford to stay in the uh, way of the platform. Okay, that's a little mean. I almost went for it, but then... And there you go. Second attempt. Uh, that's not until 2001, Dr. Engine. And here we are. We are in the one... Actually, wait, let's wait for uh, Cortex to speak. Uh, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me that crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. So yeah, we have escaped to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> SPACE! Okay, now with that added out of the way, we have the last five levels, so let's take care of what's possibly one of the more ill-fitting levels for this world, Night Fight, the only darkness level that's required. Because I feel like I'd be selling you guys a bit short if the only level I do today is, well, a cold hard crash. So of course, let's go back into the darkness. Huh, it's darker it's darker than the vocabulary than the uh, vocabulary in Kingdom Hearts. Oh goodness. That could be bad. Now in Ensane Trilogy, there's a so there's a sound that plays whenever you collect a a firefly to signify that you have uh, interacted with it. And believe me, this stage can be pretty uh, nasty in terms of other stuff. But now that we're at the uh, death route, uh, this death route can be pretty uh, uh, pretty sickening at times. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Well, here goes my safety net. Just keep navigating and such, and you'll be in the... Ooh! The gem was right there. Uh, the game thought I had it way too good. Now, okay. Now, you could just... Uh, there is a bit of a uh, oversight. Now that was just me not going far enough. There isn't. There, there is a bit of an oversight of uh, of the skull route for uh, night fight. That oversight is basically, you can die after getting the gem, and the only bots you need to worry about are the ones on the very far behind. There are almost no boxes on this route, almost none. And believe me. You, you, you shouldn't, you don't, ah, depth perception. Ah, ha, ha. 
Come on, we got a part to end, so I have to do this one last level. <laughs> so yeah. Like you got you like you got no time to waste. Like you have to be you have to book it, you have to make sure you read enemy behaviors correctly. But you can just if you got the gem, you don't need to go through this uh, pathway again in case you die. Because the only thing you need to worry about on your way are two boxes. There's only two boxes in this entire death route, and they're right there. You can just grab these two boxes and such. If I die, I will show you guys. So many pits. But yeah, to get everything... Well, I did say if I die, I'll show you, and I did, so... I'll show you. So, now that we've been on the death route at least once and seen it in full, we don't have to backtrack against the odds, and believe me, trying to go through this in, in broad darkness with flies that I don't think respawn, at least as far as I'm aware, that was way too close. Uh, that was also way too close. Had to be absolutely careful. Okay. Basically, you want to make sure you book it, book it all the way, get it past these little uh, night patrollers. I don't know what they're actually called, so I'm going to call them patrollers. And grab the crystal that's on the way. Get this checkpoint that's on the way. And just be sure you're careful about your enemy surroundings. But yeah, this is, this is one of two darkness levels, and you can tell that the darkness gimmick was something they honestly wanted to keep, but they just couldn't. But, I'm gonna say this right now, I think this is my least favorite bonus round in the game for one reason. Because when you get to this part, uh, by the time you get out of it, well, I hope that was all of them. I honestly hope that was all of them because uh, the game was loading for a bit and I was worried that the, game, the, the emulator was going to crash on me. No pun intended because I haven't even beaten uh, Cold Heart, I haven't even saved after Cold Heart crash, believe me. Oops. Well, at the very least, uh, we don't have to do that again. Ugh. But we gotta be quick here. We gotta be quick to die. Ahem. <laughs> I said, we gotta be quick here. Because if, uh... If we don't hurry up... Well, anyways, jump over this one, jump over that, and just get these two boxes, and then just go back on the p path, and there you go. I just basically eased a lot of stress off your, uh, uh, off your uh, shoulders. All that, all that uh, needs to be done is not die. <laughs> uh, why do I always dumb in the? Why do I always die in the dumbest ways? Like when I'm in the middle of a sentence. And why is my like uh, wordsmithing having a stroke here? Oy. Anyways, that's the end of the level. Okay, moment of truth. Gem is ours. Yes. And we have one more instance of suggestive imagery. Back to s uh, Okay, fine. Back to spice! Ooh. But yeah, we don't have much left in the game to go. Since we did take care of a good number of levels for this part. I think it's uh, fitting enough that we end it here. And continue in the next part. 
So yeah, that's definitely a victory for us. So yeah, let's save the game. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Anyways, if you want to donate, there are a couple links in the description below, and any amount helps. If you want to subscribe to follow the series, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and you'll be on your way. But you don't have to if you don't want to. It's only if you are really interested in it. Anyways, I, I've been giggling, I shall bid you adieu. Uh, hold on, Crash Socks!